Hello all, welcome to Raj Informatica. Please subscribe my channel. If you like my videos, please like, comment and subscribe. Let's start this today's topic, Java transformation from the person. So we have many transformations like filter, router, joiner, expression, source qualifier, aggregator, normalizer, rank, lookup, etc. Correct? Now what is use of Java transformation? Suppose, if you want to write a Java code in Informatica, you want to write a Java code in Informatica, then we'll go to Java transformation. See, normally, in the last session, we have seen SQL transformation. Why we will use SQL transformation? If you want to write SQL code, correct? If you want to write SQL queries, in any point of the time, in mapping, then we will use SQL transformation. because Sometimes informatica mapping will become huge. Okay. Suppose informatica is having 50 transformations in a single mapping. Let's say uh, we can write a SQL query and we can avoid 10 transformations, suppose. So then then we go we'll go for SQL transformation only. To reduce the complexity of informatica mapping, we can use these different uh, special transformations called SQL transformation are Java transformation, same Java also. Suppose there are 50 transmissions. By using a Java code, a simple Java code or a complex Java code, which is having less lines, can avoid 50 transformations or 10 transformations or 20 transformations. Then we can go to Java transformation. Are you clear? Understood this? <clears throat> Everyone? So now I will show you how to use Java transformation now. Okay. So let's let's take the let's take a source and target. Let's take the source and target. For a simple first, let's go to a simple Java transformation, a simple one. Let's start with a simple one. Let's not complicate a simple Java transformation. So in this, what is source? What is target? So I have given the source and target here. So my source is. EMPSRC10. My source is EMPSRC10. <coughs> yes, please. And my target is EMPTGT10. Okay. So my requirement is suppose nine records in my source. By using Java transformation, we should load nine records to target. Yes, please. This is my requirement. If you don't use Java also, it will load, correct? If you don't use Java, if you directly connect, it will connect. But I, I'm showing you how to use a Java transformation from scratch. Shall we see, guys? Shall we see? Yes. Now let's check. So take this and execute in source schema. After you execute in source schema, so take this and execute in source schema. So I have nine records in my source. Yes, please. In my source, there are nine records. This is my source. Take the target and execute in target schema. Execute in target schema. So this is my target. Yes, please. Zero records. Now by using a Java transformation, we should extract nine records from source and load nine records to target. I have already imported them. So we'll, we'll do the first mapping, m underscore, m underscore, emptg written, Java one, Java transmission, first map. Okay, so let's take the source. Let's take the source. My source is emp SR system. I already imported. I no need to show you how to import, I guess, correct? I no need to show you how to import, correct? Yes, please. EMP digit 10. So this is my source. This is my target. Now what if what I should do? I should use a Java transmission. I have four columns. Employee ID in and solid department. Right? I have four columns. Are you seeing here Java? A cup symbol. Are you seeing the Java transmission? 
in java there are two types active passive you need to decide by while creating only in power center while creating you need to decide whether it is active or passive now i am extracting nine records and sending to java java transmission will receive nine records and will give nine records so active or passive active or passive now what we are doing passive so let's take first passive okay you should choose first only once you once you change it you cannot choose it so choose passive click on okay so this is our java transmission this is our java now what you have to do in java it is showing input and output groups so just drag input input when i drag it has created input and output both correct it has created input and output both now what you do whichever you drag the source make it as input only now these are input only ports are these input only ports please yes guys yeah so now what you have to do you create the same output ports copy paste copy paste copy paste copy and paste copy and paste so i am just copying all the columns and whatever we have already created input ports whatever the emp id 1 enm 1 salary 1 department id 1 make as output ports make as output only ports okay and give the name o underscore give the name o underscore yes please yes guys understood so i created input ports and output ports input ports i drag and output ports i create now take the output ports emp id so e name also emp id e name salary department id connect to target output ports connect to target okay yes please now you should write the java code so what i what i'll write double click on java go to java code so here you will see the input ports output ports and from few ips apis okay application integrations few apis what you have to do you rem this is just a syntax they given this is how you need to do the java so i am removing it i removed everything now what i want whatever the records coming in source these should load to target correct we have emp id e name salary location department id coming from source yes or no these four columns coming from source yes now what i want what i will do wo underscore emp id equal to emp id can i do like this i remove everything java code what you do wo underscore emp id equal to emp id semicolon wo underscore e name equal to e name semicolon wo underscore salary equal to salary semicolon wo underscore department id equal to department id correct so these four are coming from source i am assigning the values of i am assigning the value of inputs to output ports so java is a case sensitive language and also every line of java will be ended with a semicolon once you return the java code here you see here compile are you seeing compile just compile it java code compilation successful that means you are checking that whether this java code is correct or not actually this is a simple code in informatic we are writing in java so what we are writing we are taking the input ports to the java and we are assigning output ports with input ports correct when you give like this internally informatica will be having a java runtime machine jvm that is called jvm or jrm java java runtime machine with that runtime machine it will automatically run the program if you want to see the full code of the java click on it this is a full code of java this is not we are writing correct did you write this did you write this everything no we did not return so informatica is written 
just whatever i wanted i return now you can ask me uh, to learn java transformation shall we shall we shall we learn java code not required first of all java transformation will be used rarely in real time in my total 12 years experience i did not use java transformation so but these are the advanced concepts if you put these things in the resume your resume will be get weighted weighted i will tell you which case you will use i'll tell you so these are the advanced concepts you will put in the resume your resume will get weightage okay understood guys everyone i'll show you two three mappings today so how it will work just understand it just try to learn what is java and how to use java transformation that's enough more than enough okay fine guys did you understand this any doubts here any doubts please did you understand any doubt clear about it okay so java is done once it is done what you have to do now create a session workflow that's it mapping is done i just created import ports input input ports and output ports dragged the input ports and uh, created the output ports and i written a simple code which work as a java passive now create a session workflow create a session and workflow yes please go to workflow manager go to workflow manager java 1 this is on correct so give the source and target connections my source is dev1 my target is tg dev1 bulk to normal apply okay save now run it whatever the records in source this will come to target whatever the records in source came to target are you clear now check the target is a nine records came to target yes please clear about it okay fine let's suppose i want i have source how many records nine records i want whose salary is greater than 30000 to target what to do whose salary is greater than 30000 to target what to do what to do guys filter correct filter the same mapping how to do the same the same mapping okay with java how to do filter with the java how to do filter i given the code also for every mapping i given the java code so you can see this now by using a simple filter you can do it but by using java what to do by using java what to do so let let's copy the mapping the same mapping i'll use it same source and target yes please so java filter transformation so how to use filter in java how to do filter by using java transformation now when you use a filter then java will will become active correct will java become active yes but here we don't have option to select whether it is active or passive we don't have it so you need to delete it and create again you need to delete and create again take a java take the java transmission now active by default active click on okay same thing we need to do now we need to drag the sources yes please yeah okay so drag this and uh, make it as input ports copy paste copy paste copy and paste and make it as output ports and make it as o underscore to make better understand why i am giving o underscore 
because these are output only ports. So you can give i underscore also. For input ports, you can give i underscore also. Okay. Now how to write the Java code? Remove this. Remove this. Double click on Java and you can connect it to target. You can connect to target. So how to write Java code now? We can write the if condition in Java now. So here I have mentioned if if a single if this is whatever we are writing, it's a Java code. This is not Informatica code, correct? Whatever we are writing inside it, it's a Java code. Yes or no, please? We should not write double if. Double if is a Informatica if trans if condition. But this is Java. If salary is greater than 30,000, then do the below things. Then do the below things. What are those? Do the same thing. But the only difference in active is you should use a utility called generate row. So once you write it, at last you should use a utility called generate row. That means it will generate a row with each row. So because when you do active transformation, you should use generate row option. Understood? This is only work for active transformations. Passive, it is not required. Passive, it is not required. So based on the conditions, it will generate each row. So this is how you need to write a Java code for a simple filter. For a simple filter. See, please. Successful. Is that successful? Each row, each, each line will be separated, ended by semicolon. If salary is greater than 30,000, then only send the records. Employee equal to employee, name equal to name, salary equal to salary, department equal to department A, and generate row. Okay, this must be used when Java is active. That's the syntax. Apply, okay, same. Did you understand how to write a Java code? Small letters only. Small letters. This generator is small letters. Java is a like C language. Java also case sensitive language. Okay, you need to compile. Compile it. Java code compilation successful. Yes, please. Understood? If salary is greater than 30,000, then only do this. Previously, what we are doing, whatever the record coming in, just pass through it, correct? We are not writing any condition here. Yes or no? Are we writing any condition in the previous mapping? No. Just whatever the record coming into Java, it will assign to this output port equal to input port and it will give to target. But here, now we are writing if condition. After that, flower brackets. So this is a Java syntax. Here I, I given the Java here I given the Java code. Yes, please. So this is how you need to write. Understood, guys? Everyone? Are you clear? Did you understand? Did you understand everyone, please? Any doubts? Any doubts, guys? Now create a workflow. Create a workflow, okay? You can write multiple conditions. You can write n number of conditions you want. I'm telling you the simple things, okay? Yeah, so mapping name, Java filter, this one. Give the source and target connections. Target, give the truncate load option because the same table we are using, bulk to normal and truncate load. Now start. How many records loaded? Four records, correct? Generate row is an active, it will show, it will, when you, that is the syntax of Java transformation for active Java transformation. If you give generate row, then only Java will act as an active transformation. That's it. There is no particular meaning about it. Okay. For every row, it will generate a row out, out to Java. Okay. So, but that will work only for active transformations. Yes, please. Now check it out. Greater than 30,000. We have only records greater than 30,000. Yes, please. Clear about it. Any doubts, please?
clear now okay when we will use java suppose i have a source let's take another source let's take another source this is my source okay i'm taking another source how many records in my source now i have i have how many records six records so this is source. let's take the same source i'll come back to here let's take the same source one second yeah let's take the same source now here i have how many records in my source nine records suppose when you normal when you do the same simple mapping without java suppose if you do this mapping source source call for target suppose there are four 10 records in the source how many records will go to target how many records will go to target 10 if i run again if i run second time how many records will go if i turn home if i turn if i run the workflow again then 20 records will be there in source if i run again 30 records again 40 records correct now by using a java if i run the workflow one time it should give three times the records that means how many records in my source nine if i run the workflow one time it should give nine into three twenty seven records how do in power center can we do this in power center i want triple the triple i want to make triple the records so we can do by expression and the sql generator now it's very easy in java now by using java looping concept by using java looping concept yes please we can do by using java looping concept we can do this easy how do it we'll see okay so in informatica you have to use sql generator source for this is some word expression and all to do this but in java very easy so how see this so let's take the same mapping again by using a for loop by using a for loop if you know for loop in c language it's very easy so i'm just showing you how it work try to understand yes please okay java loop yes please so by using a java for loop you can do it so the same things active again java is active because it take nine records it give 27 records now just we need to change the java code now here what i will do here i will write for for int i equal to 1 semicolon i is less than or equal to 3 semicolon i plus plus shall we do like this shall we do like this yes please so this you might have suppose if you learn c language this will be easy for you okay so in c language also we'll do the same loopings how it will work first record enters into here first what will do it will i is a variable i is a temporary variable you can say it will assign i equal to 1. When it assign i equal to 1, it will come here. E is 1 is less than or equal to 3. i value is 1 first time. E is 1 is less than or equal to 3. E is 1 is less than or equal to 3. One second. Yeah, whatever I did is correct. One second i 1 is less than or equal to 3 yes or no 1 is less than or equal to 3 yes then it will execute one time so first record will one time all records will go first all records will come because i equal to 1 i equal to 1 it will load all the records now it will come here i i plus plus means i equal to i plus 1 so i become 2 2 is less than or equal to 3. 
is two is less than or equal to three? Yes. Again, load all the records. So load it again, second set. Now two plus plus three. Three is less than or equal to three? True or false? True. Again, load it. It'll go here. I plus plus three plus plus is four. Four. Four is less than or equal to three? True or false? False. So come out. Understood everyone? What is the meaning of for loop is just we are taking any, not only I, you can take A also. If A equal to 1, A is less than or equal to 3, A plus plus. You can do like this also. Normally we do, we do I is an integer. I is just a integer. It's a variable. It's a variable. Yes, please. Understood? Yeah. Okay. So I equal to 1. So see, we are not doing Java here. We are just learning Informatica Power Center. So don't think too much. Don't think too much. You can you can you can explore in Google. You have many Java transformation mappings. You can explore them. Now I don't want to come. I don't want to give complex things to you. I wanted to explain in the easiest manner. That's what we are doing. So what this for loop will do? Whatever the records first it will enter. It will come to Java. Java what it will do? It will take i as one, and it will condition it will check, and it will enter one time all the records will load. First set, nine records. Again, it will increment it to two. I becomes two. Again, it will come here. Two is less than or equal to three. True. It will execute all. It will come here. And I become three. Three is less than or equal to two. All records. Then it will become four. Four is not equal to three. Not less than or equal to three. It will not come. This is how you need to write a Java for loop. Simple for loop. Are you clear? So, if you give here 10, what will happen? If I give 10, what will happen? If I give 10 here in the for loop, 10 times, not 10 records, 10 times. 10 times the records will load. Now here, 3 times the records will load. 3 times. 3 times means how many records may source? 9 records, 3 into 9, 27 records. Compile, successful, generate. Understood a simple Java. Understood a simple Java code for loop. Did you understand, guys? Are you clear? Now let's see. Let's let's see the workflow. So this is for loop, Java for loop. So let's uh, do the session. Source target. Target give truncated load. Truncated load. Apply save. Start. Let's see now how many records. 27 records loaded. All records three times loaded, correct? See here. Three times. Every record three times. Every record three times loaded. Yes or no, please? Are you clear? Let's take one more example. Let's take another example. Are you clear, please? Did you understand how Java is working? Everyone, are you clear? Let's take another example. Suppose I have a source. Let's take another source. I have a source here. You should not give plus 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 10 times. You can give only two, two times. Here you can give only two times. Plus 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 you cannot give. That's the Java. That's the Java syntax. Okay. You cannot give multiple times. Here, how many times you want? You can give the number here. If you give 10 here, 10 times it will load. If you give 100 here, 100 times it will load. Okay. Suppose if I give 100 here, see. 100 into 9, 900 times, correct? 900 records should load, correct? I'll show you. See, please. Refresh and load. Now it will load 900 records. 10, 100 into 9. Check it out. 900. 900. Yes, please. Every record enters and it will give 10 times. So that's how it is. See here. 10 will be 100 times. 20 will be 100 times. 30 will be 100 times. Are you clear, please? 
by using a simple Java code, you can generate n number of records. Clear? Yes, please. You can do sort and all. We'll say I don't want to tell all those things. This is enough, more than enough. Now let's take a source table. This is my source table. Understood everyone? Java, please. Did you understand in clear clearly without any confusions? Are you clear without any confusions, please? Guys, please reply. Now let's do this one. Now let's do a similar one. See now. I have customer ID, name, email, version. What I want is in the target. Because Raj version is one, you should give one record for Raj. Ram record version is two. For Ram, two records you should give. For Ramesh, three records you should give. For Divya, four records. For Adya, five records. For Ramya, six records. If version is one, one record you should pass. If version is two, two records you should generate. If version is 100, 100 records you should generate. Correct? Understanding? Did you understand the requirement? That means once I run this, Raj will be one record. Ram, two records. Ramesh, three records. Divya, four records. Uh, Adya, five records. Ramya, six records. Did you understand the requirement? Let's create a target also. This is my target. I don't have any records in my target. I don't have any records in my target. Yes, please. This is my target. So I have already imported. Let's create a mapping. M underscore. M underscore. Cast digit written. Java version. Okay. So let's take the source. What is my source? Cast S10 is the source. Target Cast T10 is my target. Then take the Java. Take the Java code. Active, correct? It's an active again. So let's turn to here. Make it as in ports. And copy. Paste. Paste. Copy paste. Copy paste. Copy paste. This is go underscore. Make it output port. Understood everyone? Are you clear please? O underscore, O underscore, O underscore. I did not give an underscore, sorry. Yeah, okay. So remove the ones. Remove the ones. So this one, make it as output port. Output port. Output port. Why we need to create output ports? Because we need to assign the values, right? Input to output. Java will take input and output. Both groups it will take. Only input and output will not work. Only input and output it will not work. Okay? Only, in, only one it will not work. So you, you must take output ports to assign the values. Okay, now, so what I did, I have the Java code. You can write the Java code. So to save the time, I just copy pasted here. So this code, to save the time. No need to change the data types, nothing. Why you want to change the data types? Now see please, what I have given. Semicolon is not required here. For for loop, if you give semicolon, it will not work at all. It will load only one time. If you give semicolon for for loop, it load only one time. So for for loop, you should not give semicolon. For other statements, you should give semicolon. Now what I given? I equal to one. I is less than or equal to version, correct? I is less than or equal to version. Yes or no? Instead of a number, I am giving version. Instead of number, directly I am giving version. See how it works. So first record, what is first record? Version 1. So that will enter into Java code. Now version become 1. So 1 is less than or equal to 1, true or false? 
i is 1 1 is less than or equal to 1 true or false 1 is less than or equal to 1 true or false true so one type next record enters 2 i equal to 1 and 1 is less than or equal to 2 so one is less than or equal to true 2 correct true one time it will load again it will become 2 i become 2 2 is less than or equal to 2 true so again now third record will come version 3 i is less than or equal to 3 so three times i is less than or equal to 4 4 times 5 5 times 6 6 times understood instead of giving a number i am directly giving a version here whatever the version number it will take it that many times it will generate are you clear please understood in the previous mapping we given a number like this instead of number i am giving directly version whatever the version coming from source it will take that number compile see if it is error it will show like this if it is error suppose if you suppose you did not miss you missed a semicolon if you compile it will give error so o underscore credit limit error semicolon expected one error so it will give error now compile done apply okay save it are you clear please did you understand everyone so this is how you can do simple simple things in java there are many things you can do it but very rarely use the transformation whenever it is difficult in informatica it is the performance is if you think of if I'm using 10 transformation, 50 transformation, the performing, the mapping with performance is very less. Then if it is done by Java easily, then we'll go for Java transformation. At the time, we'll go for Java transformation. Are you clear, please? Understood about Java transformation? Did you understand? Everyone? So open it. So give the source and target connection. Give the source and target connection. Apply. Okay, save it. Let's see now. Run this. Loaded. 21 records loaded. Check it out. Check the target. 10 one time. 22 times. 33 times. 44 times. 55 times. 66 times. Clear. Are you clear, please? Everyone understood? If you want to do the same thing in Power Center, we should use two three transformations, correct? If I want to same thing by using Java without using Java transformation, we should use two three transformations, yes or no? Correct, guys? We should do so much of logic. That, but here, a straightforward mapping. A simple Java code will do a powerful mapping. Clear, guys? So this is all about Java transformation in Power Center. Clear, guys? Everyone, are you clear? So I hope everyone understood this topic about Java transformation. This is all about today's topic. I hope you got good information from my videos. For more information, please subscribe my channel, like and comment on my videos. Thank you. Thank you. All.